And the brew with a distinctly Scottish flavour. We sample this season's Heather Ale. People have always been intoxicated by the beauty of Scotland's countryside, but what they may not have known is that they can literally drink it all in. They can indeed, yes. For three years, a Scottish brewer has been producing an ale made from heather flowers, and this season's brew is now available. We sent our reporter, Nicky McGowan, along to see whether or not it tickles the taste buds. It may be made from a harmless wee Scottish flower, but if you're caught drinking beer made from heather, then you're actually acting illegally. According to a law created in 1711, beer made from anything other than malt and hops is outlawed. One brewer, though, was willing to take the risk. Heather is traditional um, in Scotland, but there are no hops growing in Scotland. Um, so ever since uh, the beginning of history, people have made um, beer with heather. So what does a wee purple flower like this taste like anyway? I've suffered with hay fever, I better not drink no more of it then. <laughs> Well, I'd buy it because it's Scottish. Yeah, it's Scottish. Oh, it seems quite fruity. I'm not sure what fruit, but uh, I like it. Yeah, it's good. Very nice. Mm. I've never tasted Heather before, so I don't know. <laughs> it kind of tastes like malt liquor. Not as good as French beer, you know, but uh, it's, it's got uh, like a kind of hopsy taste to it, you know. What do you Very think? I, I taste, it's great. It tastes like... Um, Nectar with them, um, with uh, just some alcohol in it. It's very no. bomb, how you say? I had yeah, a taste yeah, well. of it because it was Scottish too. Oh, oh. yeah. Can you see this overtaking iron brew then? Is it the national brew? Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> iron brew is rubbish, that's lovely. So whether this becomes your other national drink remains to be seen. After all, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Do you want me to do it again? Okay, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki McGowan, she's not back yet.